Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm going to talk to you about Google Maps, one of my favourite apps that has pride of place on the home screen of my phone. Google Maps is one of my favourite apps to use, both on the computer and on my phone. I use it so often on my computer, if I type M into the address bar in Google Chrome, it will automatically fill apps.google.com and take me straight to Google Maps. For many years I used it as my in-car GPS, mounted up on the dashboard, telling me where to go on all of the trips that I took. I prefer it over Apple Maps for a bunch of reasons which I'll actually cover in this video. These days my Mazda CX-5 has built-in GPS, which in many ways is more convenient to use. What I do think would be really handy would be able to get an address from my phone to the car GPS. That would be useful. That said, I think the new CarPlay devices will do exactly that. I can use Google Maps to find things in my local area. Across the top bar, it will show me where my work is, takeaway places, places that will deliver, petrol, groceries, chemists, coffee, hotels, and more. You can find all sorts of different businesses straight from the phone. For example, if I wanted to find chemists in the local area, there's a list of eight or ten of them, whether they're open or not, phone numbers, all of those sorts of things right there in my hand. I had an interesting story of a time I had a need to use that. I drove Becky quite a long way to school at the time and when we got there realized that she had no shoes with her and she needed them for cooking class. So being the awesome dad that I am, I searched shoe shop in Google Maps. It showed me a factory outlet that was only about six or seven blocks from school. Drove out there, got some shoes for her and for me I think at the time and managed to get them back to her at school before her cooking class. Problem solved, thank you Google Maps. When I ran the Tech Doctor as a business, going to people's homes and businesses to fix their computers, when we added new entries into our customer service log, it actually gave us an option to find their address in Google Maps. So I'd be talking to people on the phone, booking the appointment, and I'd click the button that said, show map. It would open a new tab with Google Maps and I could go, oh, You've got the blue garage door. Yep, that'll be easy to find. Actually, what I said is, I've just looked that up in Google Maps and I can see you've got a blue garage door. Is that the right place? Because otherwise they thought I was a creepy stalker or something like that. In fact, I had that conversation a few times. So I made sure I added in the, I've just looked you up on Google Maps. At the time, most people hadn't even heard of the technology and that was something I ended up having to show a lot of people. One time about 15 years ago, I needed to know the name of a business, but I could only remember where it was, not what it was called. So I actually went to Google Maps, looked at the street view, found of the location where I knew it was, and there it was, save on spares. I could read it off the front of the building. I could even read their phone number so that I could give them a call. Another huge win for Google Maps. You can browse around your local area. There may be things in your area that you just simply didn't know existed. For instance, there's a place near here that's Squatter, Australia's classic game. I loved that board game as a kid and we still got it. I have no idea why the home of it is just up the street from me though. But I know that it is because I see the van driving around occasionally. Down the bottom, Google Maps knows my commute. That's okay, I can think I can find my way to work. But if I ended up having to start from somewhere other than home, it might be a useful way to help me. I can look at saved items, which is great because I can work on my laptop, work out where I want to go, save all of the places to my Google account, and they're here on my phone when I need them. I can contribute. I can actually review companies, and everybody can see those reviews when they visit that business in Google Maps. And I've reviewed a lot of places. In fact, my reviews have been read over 10,000 times and my photos viewed over 20,000 times. But there's a lot of reviews in there. Up in my account settings, Google actually records my timeline. Now, in this case, that's because I've asked them to. But what it means is I can go back to any time in the past probably couple of years, pick the date and see where I went on that day. I went home, I went to work and I went home again. Probably pretty normal in these interesting times. I can also share my location from my phone. At the moment, I'm sharing my location with Lizzie. 
for the next 40 minutes. By default, when you share your location, it allows you to share it for an hour or you can turn it, turn it on permanently. If Lizzie were to open her Google Maps, she would see where I am, where she is, and be able to find me really easily. Great if you're lost in a shopping center or just want to find an easy way to let someone know where you are. Question of the day. Do you use Google Maps or do you use something else? Did you learn anything from this video? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit the thumbs up. It really helps. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about computers, protect yourself from the bad guys, and repair it when it goes bad. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the Tech Doctor icon down here, you can subscribe to these videos and never miss a new one. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.